Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the history of integration. The concept of integration, also known as finding the integral of a function, has a long and fascinating history that dates back to ancient times. Here's a brief overview of the key milestones in the history of integration. Ancient methods. The origins of integration can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians and Babylonians, who were engaged in practical calculations for areas and volumes. These early mathematicians used basic geometric shapes and methods of exhaustion to approximate areas and find rudimentary integrals. Archimedes, circa 287-212 B.C.E. Archimedes, the ancient Greek mathematician, made significant contributions to the development of integral calculus. He used the method of exhaustion to calculate the area under a parabola and the area of a circle. His work laid the groundwork for later developments in integral calculus. Chinese and Indian mathematicians. Around the same time as Archimedes, mathematicians in China and India were also working on various aspects of integration. Chinese mathematicians made advances in finding volumes of solids and solving problems related to motion. Indian mathematicians worked on finding areas under curves and approximating integrals. The work of Fermat and Cavallari, 17th century, Pierre de Fermat and Bonaventura Cavallari made important contributions to the concept of integration in the 17th century. Fermat is credited with developing a method for finding the tangent line to a curve, which laid the foundation for differential calculus, closely related to integration. Cavallari introduced the method of indivisibles, an early form of integral calculus that allowed him to calculate volumes and areas. The fundamental theorem of calculus, 17th century, the true breakthrough in the history of integration came with the development of the fundamental theorem of calculus, which establishes a link between differentiation and integration. The fundamental theorem was independently discovered by Sir Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz in the late 17th century. Their work marked the birth of modern calculus, and integration became a well-defined mathematical concept. Further developments, 18th-19th century, in the 18th and 19th centuries, mathematicians such as Leonard Euler, Joseph Louis Lagrange, and Carl Friedrich Gauss made significant contributions to the theory of integration. They extended the scope of integration to include complex functions, improper integrals, and more advanced techniques for solving various mathematical problems. Rigorous foundations, 19th-20th century, during the 19th and 20th centuries, mathematicians like Augustin Louis Cauchy and Karl Weierstrass worked to establish rigorous foundations for calculus, including integration. They introduced the concept of limits and formulated precise definitions of integrals that are still used today. Modern integration theory. In the 20th century, integration theory was further developed by mathematicians such as Henri Lebesgue, who introduced the Lebesgue integral, a more general and powerful form of integration that extends the Riemann integral. Lebesgue integration provided a more comprehensive framework for dealing with a wider class of functions and solving advanced problems in mathematics and physics. Today, integration remains an essential part of mathematics, with a wide range of applications in various scientific and engineering fields. It continues to evolve, with ongoing research and developments in areas like stochastic integration, functional analysis, and numerical integration techniques. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.